Hey guys, it's your more girl coming back with you with this DIY I need to do. Well guys, you know I'm trying to get, I couldn't find a trash can for the bathroom. I said I was going to try to do a DIY. Well, I went to search um, several stores for glitter and I figured I'll just glitter it because I'm trying to get this really shiny surface for the trash can. So since I can't find the glitter, I figured let me try to mix some paints. I did go to Michael's finally. I went to Hobby Lobby. I went to Walmart. Um, nothing. And I don't feel like ordering this online. So the closest I got was this sort of bright um, rose gold. So it's called like high metallic rose gold. And I think this is like the closest color I can get. It's a shame like when I film, I'm going to try this in post-production. This is actually like a blushy color more than it is brown and again i want to do it for the trash can that we saw that was metal so i'm trying to mix colors that will really blend close to it so i pulled out some since this was a little brown and it was translucent i'm going to do some swatches i got a pink but i think the pink is too pink for this i got this blush which is not too bad if i mix it this is this purplish type of um color it's sort of like a um it's like a reddish purple what we call violet red really and then this is a coral which i think is going to be way way too orange so i'm going to try and i also have this champagne and this is what i sprayed to me this was probably the closest so i want to before i spray the trash can and then put the glitter on top i want to make sure through my samples that i'm using the right color So guys, this is the trash can and it's high reflective um, silver chrome that I used before as an ice bucket. Uh, but it does, I think it is a trash can, guys. But, um, all right. So I'm going to do the combination of the pink and the gold first. Then I'm going to do the combination of this coral and the glitter. Because this glitter by itself is too translucent to put on this can. Um, and I don't want to prime it yet until that's why I'm practicing on something like this because this is close to a prime as you can get um, since this is like a rough surface on the back of it. And then I'm going to try this one, this little purple and the gold. If it's too purple, I will add in a dab of the pink because I'm trying to get this. It's sort of like this. It's one way one way to look at it is kind of like a tan it's actually champagne pink so champagne pink is a hard color to find okay for champagne pink so but it does can go a little bit with this purplish if you add in another color which is three because this has brown tones this has some red and blue tones and this of course pink is red with white so i figured with this combination that might just do it. So let's guys, let's get started and let's go practice. I have some water to change it. And you know what? The sample I did on this, I think it's going to be it. And I got to remember what I did. All right. So I'm going to do a combination of this one. And this. So I'm just going to put in a little dab of... drop a couple little drops that's it i'm gonna mix it this way here oh this is bringing me back to school guys it's bringing me back to school okay i'm gonna just clean my brush because i was using it previously and i'm going to mix it So I'm swatching this and already I can see this is way too pink. So I'm going to come in, but it, I like the opacity that it is kind of more opaque. So I put some brown on it. It's not bad, but I think it is a little dark and a little opaque. So. 
we have this with this. Okay, let's move this out the way. Okay, you can see that. And I think this looks still a little brown. Let's see if I can bring it in closer. All right, I think this is, when it brings in closer, it does look a little bit more pinky, but I think this is opaque, too pink. All right, so that is not gonna work, and that was this combination here. All right, so we're gonna try this. Clean my brush. I just want to show you this alone is very yellow. And you can see right there from there, it's very yellow. So this needs to be some pink in this. And you see it's very translucent. You can see a lot of the white in this. Let me just bring this down just a little bit. Okay. Let me lock this color in for you guys. So I'm locking this in. See? So it doesn't move. So, you can see this pink better. Here. Here. You probably said this is closer. Yes. All right. So, this needs a color because it's a little too yellow. So, let's add a little bit of the salmon. This is like an ink. I got this from Goodwill, so. Sort of like a salmon. I can't even find a blush. I'm like, you guys, when it comes to rose golds and blushes, those colors are so impossible to find. I mean, the shell's nothing. And I, when I went to Hobby Lobby first, she was like, oh, nobody has as much glitter as we do. But I'm like, you know what? Y'all still don't have the color, so it doesn't matter. This is way too orange. You see, way, way, way too orange. You could tell from here it's more on the pinky side, orange, gold, pink. All right, so this one needs a little more pink to it. Let's try. So I know this will be too orange, so we're not even gonna try that. So let me just dab a little pink. And this, guys, this is actually how I did my paint colors. The paint that's on the wall, that's what it is. Combinations of colors over and over again. That's why I couldn't give you guys is that color especially on the blue wall i altered that color so many times so i made up my own paint color all right so now we're going to put it next to it so we add pink it's still too pink i add too much pink okay again too pink too opaque so let's change this All right, so let's use, we did the purple, we did the pink, we did the coral, we get this. So I'm gonna go outside and spray this in one of these containers and we're gonna see how the champagne spray can, this champagne pink will go with it. Hold on guys. Okay, so I put a little bit of the um, spray paint. This is the pink champagne spray paint. You can see this color right here, and it probably pretty much goes with it, but it still needs like a little bit of glitter. So I'm gonna actually paint before I mix it first. Okay, to see. Yep, it's a match, but it needs glitter. So let's add just a little on top and let's see what happens when I get that combination Ooh, I would think we have a match okay that is the closest so far but the thing is how what would happen if I spray the towel let it dry 
then put the paint on there. Because what I did was in liquid form, I combined them together. So what I'm gonna do is spray a corner before I come up with the final decision and then put the paint on top of it. That just means I would have to spray the whole thing blush and then just take this paint and just cover on top. But before this, I wanna try one more combination. Okay, so I'm going to get a clean cup. So we know this is this one here. This is over here, so these are not working. We're gonna try this purple. And it's called Rose Claire. Blush, it's blush pink. This is by, um, this is by Craftsmart. And it's called Blush Pink Rose Claire. So let's try that. It looks a little purple. Just a drop. Then we're going to add a drop of this bright rose gold. We need more, almost 50-50%. Alright guys, I am back. So I sprayed the center, the blush, which it is actually the brush. Um, let me now put this on top. So we're going to do the middle. Yes, this is pretty much it. So it means either spray this one here. So it's between these two. So this was liquid, this is sprayed and then glitter on top. This was sp sprayed in the can and mixed with the glitter and this is the purple one. Um, I don't know, since I'm, I'm running out of spray paint, I might just go with what I have and use this one over here because I think it's this one over here too and I have more sparkle in this one than I have in this one. Okay, guys, I had to change this color yet again, like three times. So, the color is coming out too orangey here. So, what I did was I add some pearl. This is Pearl X powder. And then I added some, because white to me would have flattened it. 
so I added um, this pearl as well. So I had to add these pearls to kind of kill and lighten it because it's such a soft. Okay, since this is a very, very soft, soft um, color, this was getting too dark, so I have to lighten it up a bit. So um, I'm going to just do it again later because it's supposed to be a faint color. Very, very faint. So it was getting too dark. So I did add, as you can see here, it's more like a pearly pink. So I have to just keep adding until I get the right consistency and the right color. Because I want it as faint as possible without it looking yellow, without it looking purplish, or without it, I didn't want, this is starting to go into the rose gold area. So I wanted this to be kind of, you see, a little faint and I can go like maybe one lighter. So now I did more of the, um, so guys, I add more of, I have no more left and I add a little bit more pearl because I even got it lighter. Okay. The thing is the purpose of this is to actually get as close as a faint color as possible. I don't want to go gold with this. So you see, I'm still, when you see it like that, this looks more coral. And you can see the color here. And actually, this is starting to look almost purplish. Okay, so I know I'm on the red side. I could have added a little bit more of that purple color to it, to the pearl, to really pop it. But again, these different shades were getting way too dark. I want it very fake. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on this trash can. I will see you next week on YouTube Tuesday and the next DIY for this master bathroom. It is almost over, so let's hope we can tackle that car.